forget where you come from, you will not make the most of where you are headed because where you are headed only works if you remember where you came from. And I wanted someone to understand that you've been trying to let go of the past and I hear God saying, no baby, hang on to it. I'm going to use it. If you hang on to where you came from, I'll show you how to throw it at where I'm pointing you. I'll show you how to point it in the direction of where you can be most effective. So I got to live at this intersection of the foreign and the familiar. That means you know me, but you don't know me. That means there's not one particular friend group that can handle all of who I am. Because in this room, I'm familiar. But in the same room, I'm also a little bit foreign. If I could say it the way that they say it in the music that I listen to, they would say, I'm on something different. I know that I'm in the world, but I'm not of the world. I'm on something different. It is familiar to you, but there's also another part of me that is so foreign, it would blow your mind that I could cast a demon out of you. There's another part of me that is so foreign that it would radically change your life if you understood the way that I could communicate. I hear God saying that I'm getting ready to make you foreign in the place where you were once familiar. Hello my beautiful peace lilies and welcome back to another wellness vloggy vlog. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Asia if you are new here and if you are not, hey girl, hey, come and join the family, okay? So guess what y'all, today is the first day of 21 days of prayer and fasting. So it starts on January 9th and we finished January 29th. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually excited. I'm excited for this 21 days of prayer and fasting. I told you guys before when I wanted to do it, um, the beginning of last year, I think I made it to like day four or five and I couldn't do it. I gave up too quickly. I didn't put the, I can do it, I can receive it, I can conquer it, I can keep going. God will be there with me throughout the day and every step of the way when I'm doing my fast, I didn't do that. I think I just went diving cold turkey and I just I don't know I just uh, maybe because uh, mentally I wasn't prepared but last year I did do seven days of prayer and fasting and boy oh boy I must say me and God had a time we had a time we had a time but this fast I'm praying for vision prosperity growth kindness love kingdom spouse my family my neighbors you know just a lot of things so I'm gonna see God more clearly I'm gonna understand him more clearly I want to understand my own character my own traits my anointing that he has for me and what is my purpose what is the reason behind it like what is my why so that's what I'm fasting for but I'm excited for the meals and everything so tonight we're gonna make a stir fry never made it before did I I don't know but we making a stir fry I got all the ingredients down to the tea I got the recipe from Pinterest I will pop it on the screen right here so you guys can see you can make it yourself so since it's 21 days every single day throughout our vlog we will be doing meals um, I'm gonna go to Walmart tomorrow, but y'all will see that in the next vlog. And I'm gonna get all of my foods. I'm gonna meal prep. I'm gonna get my glass containers and everything because I am ready to see what God has in store for me. Okay, God, you're doing ready. We ready. I'm fasting with my church, and if you go, if you have the Bible app and you thinking about doing it, you know, I know a lot of people are wondering what is a Daniel fast, what is 21 days of prayer and fasting. The biblical version, you can go to the book of Daniels, and you're fasting to have a clear vision with God. You're fasting for a purpose and a reason, just like Daniel did. As everyone else was eating the king's food, he was like, no, and he made it. He made it, and then he did more parts of the fast and i was impressed so during 21 days of prayer and fasts i will be reading the book of daniel again i am on the book of deuteronomy but again i am doing 21 days of prayer and fast with my church so if you go on the Bayou app which is you version what is it seeking gods seeking god i think 
I will pop it on the screen. I don't want to give you guys the wrong information so you can see it popped up right here. And I'm following that. But guys, I got to tell you something else. It's another part in the U version that I'm reading and it is situationships. It made me dive a real lot of deeper. Okay, I got my phone now because I don't want to give y'all false information. So, our plan that we are doing for 21 days of prayer and fasting, the source seek first. So, this one, the first one is seeking God's kingdom first. The plan that I was reading as well, it has nothing to do with the prayer and fasting, but in reality it kind of do because it's allowing me to understand my own character traits and toxic ways and things i was once used to from not being used to and it's and it's called if he wanted to he would break the cycle of toxic love patterns and i tell you it had me diving a little deeper i started this on january 5th so it says the situation should the word pursuit is the action of following or pursuing someone or something if a man is interested in you with the intentions of real life connections worthy of your time it should drive his curiosity to the point of uncertainty until you grant him access god wants to reveal these toxic love patterns and heal your attachment styles by writing and renewing your attraction and helping you reconnect back to your true value i was like i needed that so psalms 139 23 verse 24 it says in the passion passion translation god i invite your searching gaze into my heart examine me through and through find out every hidden within me put me to the test and shift through all my anxious cares see if there is any path and pain i am walking on and lead me back to your glorious everlasting way the path that brings me back to you toxic things i've settled for in a relationship or ways i've translated being treated less than i deserve there are so many things and once i started writing i did not stop and i had to realize like asia the growth from there to now okay so number one it says when a man says he don't want a relationship with you but wants to do relationship things number two when a man have you guessing and unsure of what you two are number three not communicating with you all day and ignoring your calls or text number four not taking you out on a date number five love you in private but not in public number six not feeling love or respected but stay and thinking he will change unhappy but stay because you are comfortable we have to be in that position of being uncomfortable we can't keep going back to what hurt us because we were so used to it i mean so comfortable we can't keep doing that you can't keep picking the same pattern and repeated cycles at some point you gotta let it go you gotta let it go you know that saying too you know she's the girl that every guy wants but once you get her you forgot to still value her yeah keeps picking the same type of men because i was not healed inside and out and that was all my toxic ways and traits that i was continuing to be attracted to repeatedly but my good healthy ones is this it says healthy attractions and that i want to be drawn into him into a man Holy Spirit, heal my heart, my soul, my mind, my joy, my peace, my happiness, time, energy, kind, love, and spirit. I seek counsel on how to become secure in my attachment styles as I continue on this journey of breaking the cycle of toxic love patterns. And I wrote down a lot. The first one I wrote down is a man that is bold like Joshua. Loving, caring, kind, supportive, happy, peaceful, respectful takes time out his day my plans make plans for a day never speak bad to me or upon me never stop stating me appreciate me and everything i do a man who leads a man that makes me smile and never stops laughing secure with him and mine match made for each other love me out loud he assured me 
he goes to therapy yes we need men that is okay with therapy and don't feel like therapy is something that they can't do or you know men that has baggage or men that has childhood traumas we don't want to keep on attracting those type of men we want to attract a man that is attracted to us and and god sent him you know because you want to know when, when that when he's for you you want to know man he knows how to order my food at dinner and drinks <laughs> I don't know why, but I absolutely love that. It's just like, it's so cheesy, right? <laughs> it makes me love like no other and always do. He's not perfect, but God, you said I'm just me. And the list goes on because your girl kept breaking. <laughs> but there comes a point where you decide that these scars can work against me or they can work for me. And I have decided that my scars are seed. I'm going to put them in the ground. I'm going to allow the word to water them and I'm gonna allow my children to eat from the fruit of the scars that should have took me out of here baby the scars taught me it wasn't the degree it wasn't the relationships I'm not anointed because of who my father is I'm not anointed because of what I went through I'm anointed because the suffering made a demand on what God placed on the inside of me I don't know who you are but you're going through a suffering season and I just want you to know from a few of us that there is power on the other side of suffering that there is breakthrough on the other side of suffering that there's vision on the other side of suffering I know your heart is broken baby girl but let someone's life be a testimony suffering is not the end if you let it suffering will be the beginning suffering can be the beginning this pain in your chest this disappointment this fear this anxiety this suffering it's not the end of you it is the beginning Jump into the vision board, we made our stir fry and it was delicious. Love it. Oh my gosh. Everything. So now let's talk about our 2023 vision board and we are very intentional. It's very realistic. It's nothing that's fictional or aesthetic. No, this is real life vision board that I am praying for during my prayer and fasting. So it says, Happy New Year. Mind you, I wrote this on the 31st of December so happy new year father God bless my year take over and have your way lead me every step of the way something that I wrote is father show me what my anointing can do which I told you guys early in the vlog welcome my faith and not by sight all 2023 praying more and fasting way more waking up at 6 30 to have a healthy day eating healthy living healthy Working out or 2023, such as gym, yoga, Pilates, Soul Cycle. I do want to do Soul Cycle. They have some in the city, but I'm going back home. So hopefully, when I go home, um, they'll have some down there as well. I'm going to do my research before I go. I can do anything I put my mind to and cross out can't. Yes, cross out can't. You can do it. You can achieve it. You can conquer it. You can mold it. You can grow it. You can be that one to be the winner you are it because god placed you there if he wasn't ready for it he would never place you with it in your life um get an ipad got it wait for it to come because it's on back order Ugh. <laughs> 29 days of prayer and fasting which is today is day one and change phone number and i changed my phone number for the better because i needed it and i feel good about it so intentional let's get intentional i just jotted down self-care so what i meant by self-care solo days solo trips spa dates um and different things i want to try 
mom healthy lifestyle so example family vacations being patient on time or showing more time um being a present parent you know we can always be a present parent but what i mean by being a present parent meaning putting my phone down logging out of things having my one-to-one -one moments with my son and just being there because we can be there and not give them that present parent attention that they need if we got a phone in our hand and we're not being a present parent you know what i mean so putting that down when i'm around him remembering his feelings matter he is human as well finance changes i'm not reading everything because i you know it's personal so i'm just giving y'all examples finance changes saving more managing it better and ties and givens envelope challenge do want to do the envelope challenge because i really want to see how much i can save in a year content creator um do every everything that i'm doing i'm taking it 20 times more seriously this year because yeah um yeah valuing myself way more as a content creator and not settling for any old wacky type of brand um and prices went up, all the way up family um removing away any toxic things that's you know that's draining in my family it doesn't matter your peace matters as a human so if it ain't for you move away from it pray for them move away from it and that's that selfless self-love saying no stop being a people pleaser like i told you before reminding myself that i am proud of me and loving myself more congratulations telling myself congratulations in advance because i know i will achieve it and conquer it right then and there this year so everything is congratulations asia congratulations asia congratulations are in order hang on spouse and i wrote a list i'm not sharing that because it gets deep and then i also wrote kingdom wife which is for me lots of pages like i say it's deep but that's just a brief example of how you can do your vision board just be more intentional like what are some things that's really been on your mind have you or even some ways about yourself that you just want to change write it down put that as a vision board and you will see so many things start to change throughout your whole entire life you'd be surprised how your life can change from this to amazing within a matter of hours or even if you want to do the daniel fast i highly encourage you doing it trying it um but ask god you know like god will put me through the daniel fast if this is something that you want me to do at this very given moment walk with me through it because i can't even see you he will walk with you through it every step of the way so don't give up don't give up at all but i'm excited so wow we finished day one tomorrow is day two and tomorrow day one vlog will be up of our 21 day of prayer fasting so i'll see you guys on the next video i love you guys always don't forget to like comment and subscribe and you already know we always say don't allow no me to disturb our peace because the way they don't deserve that mm -mm. <laughs> i'll see you guys on day two of 21 day of prayer and